Hi there, my name is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to withdraw money from your Coinbase account to your bank account. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sell the cryptocurrency that we currently have on our Coinbase account. Then we're going to add and verify a bank account and finally we're going to withdraw the money so the euros, the US dollars or the British pounds to our bank account. I'm going to show you everything on my computer so you can easily follow along with this video. So let's get started. Then when we have our Bitcoin back on our Coinbase account, we can go ahead and sell our Bitcoin back for maybe US dollars. So we can go here on buy and sell and then it will open up the same window where we all have also bought our Bitcoin. But now we're going to click on the sell tab right here. And if you want to sell all of it, we can just click on sell all or we could maybe just um, sell a certain amount of it. So we can sell maybe like 25 euros worth of Bitcoin. And we can also decide on what we want to sell it for. So here we are selling our Bitcoin. Make sure it's the right currency here and uh, the right coins here. And then you want to deposit it either in your Euro wallet or maybe um, in another wallet. I know in Great Britain, they, I think they have Euros and British pounds. So maybe you can decide here. I only have the possibility to put it in my Euro wallet. And then when you click on preview sell, again, you can see the fees that you have to pay and, and what you'll be paid out into your um, Coinbase account, which then you can go, you can transfer back to your bank account. And before we can deposit our money, we have to verify our bank account as a new payment method. And the way we do that is we go to the top right here where you see your name, click here, there and then click on settings right here. And then it'll take you to your settings and here you want to click on payment methods. And here you can already see that you have your credit card set up as a payment method because we had to set this up when we were um, signing up for our new Coinbase account. So then you want to click on add payment method right here. And now we're going to click on Euro bank account. Now this is because I live in Europe, but if you live in the United States, it's probably going to say US bank account or in Great Britain, it's going to say uh, like British bank account. So click there. And then here you want to type in the name of your bank, your IBAN number and also your BIC code and then click on verify your account. And once you've done that, you're going to see the bank details that you're going to need to send a small amount of money to. Um, in order for them to verify your bank account. And what's very important here is to, first of all, use the correct information. So make sure everything is correct here when you actually carry out the money transfer using your bank. And what's the most important thing is to use the reference number that you see on top here in blue. And make sure you use your specific reference number and put that in the reference field of your bank transfer. If you don't use that reference number, then the money will not actually arrive in your Coinbase uh, account and your bank account will also not be verified because they don't know where uh, that deposit belongs to. So send over a small amount like $5 or something. I have actually sent five euros and I used Revolut as my bank account to send them uh, this small amount because I'm gonna use Revolut to, um, to fund my Coinbase account. And again, you want to make sure to actually use the bank account that you're also going to use later on to fund your Coinbase account. And the cool thing with Revolut is that uh, the transactions, the bank transfers are very quick. So it only took like a minute or something until the funds actually arrived here in my Coinbase account. So once you actually have transferred the money over, you can click on I've sent it. And then you will get to this screen right here where it's going to say, um, okay, we're verifying your deposit. It's going to take one to two business days. And for most banks, it actually takes one to two business days until they can um, verify your account uh, because the funds arrive maybe one to two business days later. But like with my bank, like Revolut, which is like an international one, um, it took only like a minute. So that's pretty cool. And then once... Um, once the money actually arrives, you'll be getting an email from Coinbase looking like this. So um, they're going to notify you when you get your deposit and when your bank account is verified. So then when you actually receive this email that your funds have now arrived and that your bank account is verified, you can click on view deposit, log into your Coinbase account, and then you'll see that um, you're going to have the funds on your portfolio. So when you go to portfolio right here, then it's going to say, um, for me, it, it's like five euros, which is 5.53 Swiss francs because I live in Switzerland here. My currency is Swiss francs. 
So then let's say we have successfully sold our Bitcoin again. Maybe we have even made some profits and we want to put that money back into our bank account. So to do that, we go to our portfolio right here on the left side and then go to the currency, so, uh, the, your fiat currency that you have on your bank account. In my case, they would be euros. So I'm going to click on euros right here. And then on the right side, I'm going to go to the withdraw tab. And then I'm going to decide on how much euros I want to withdraw. So let's say I want to withdraw like 50 euros. Uh, I only have five euros right now in my account, so I can only withdraw five. So I'm going to choose five here and click on, click on continue. And then I can decide on where I want to uh, withdraw my money to. Now, in my case, I just want to withdraw it to back to my Revolut account. So I'm going to click on this. And when I uh, click on continue now, which you can't actually see because my face is in the way. So here, when you click on continue, it will actually send it back to your bank account with a small fee that you can also see uh, right here. All right, so that's how to withdraw money from your Coinbase account to your bank account. Now, this was actually a segment from my complete Coinbase tutorial that is also available here on YouTube. So if you're a beginner to Coinbase and you wanna learn more about how to use Coinbase, how to save some fees as well, then I would recommend to watch my complete tutorial that you'll find down below in the video description. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you click that thumbs up button down below and leave me a comment if you have any questions. Also, if you wanna see more videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.